Let's have our lecture video in integral calculus with the topic, the definite integral. The definite integral of f of x is the difference between two values of the integral of f of x for two distinct values of the variable x. If the integral of f of x dx is equal to f of x plus c, the definite integral is denoted by the symbol integral of f of x dx from the lower limit a to the upper limit b is equal to f of b minus f of a. The quantity f of b minus f of a is called the definite integral of f of x between the limits a and b or simply the definite integral from a to b. It is called the definite integral because the results involves neither x nor the constant c, just like we're doing before. Therefore, we're dealing with a definite value. The numbers a and b are called the limits of the integration, a being the lower limit and b as the upper limit. So this time, we will be solving for the definite or the exact value of the function given limits so we will be dealing with limits of a to b okay, let's uh, evaluate the examples solve the examples for number one we have here integral of x raised to the power four dx from the lower limit one to the upper limit two so according to the lecture here we will first integrate or find the find the antiderivative of the function then we will incorporate or in, in uh, we will solve for the values using the lower limit and the upper limit okay so we have here number one so if we integrate this of course using the power formula we will have x raised to five over 5. Then we will evaluate it with the limits 1 and 2. So looking at this uh, formula here, the first, the first uh, here is having the upper limit minus the lower limit. Okay, so here from our example we will substitute here the upper limit so the bigger number so this is 2 raised to the power of 5 over 5 minus the lower limit or the uh, lower number that is 1 raised to 5 all over 5 so we just substituted x with the two limits that is equal to 31 over Five. So see, we're able to get a definite or the exact value of the function because there's already limits given. There's, there's uh, no plus c anymore because we got the exact value. So this is now the answer for this function. The okay, next number two, we have the integral of y minus 2 squared dy lower limit 1 up to the upper limit 3. So again, what we do here is we integrate first and then we substitute the limits. Okay, so integrate y minus 2 squared. So using the power formula, so we have here y minus 2 raised to 3 all over 3. Then we will evaluate it to the lower limit 1 and the upper limit 3. Next, we will be substituting the values of y with the, the first one should be the higher number, the upper limit. So we have here 3 minus 2, or let's just remove it. So 3 minus 2 raised to 3, all over 3, then minus 1 minus 2 raised to 3 all over 3. 
So we have here, the definite value here is 2 thirds. So this is the answer for number 2. Let's go to number 3. So we have here the integral of square root of 2 beta minus 1 d beta, evaluating it to the lower limit 1 half and the upper limit 1. So again, we will integrate first, get the antiderivative first. So actually this is uh, 2 beta minus 1 raised to 1 half d beta. So using the power formula, so let u is equal to 2 beta minus 1. So du here is equal to 2 d beta is equal to 2 beta minus 1 raised to 1 half. And then we have here 2 d beta. Then lower limit 1 half, upper limit 1. Then to balance the equation, we have here 1 half. Then let's proceed to the power formula. We have here 1 half. So we have 2 beta minus 1 raised to negative uh, 1 half plus 1, that is 3 halves over 3 halves. Evaluating it to the lower limit 1 half, upper limit 1. So that is equal to, so we will cancel out 2, what is left here will be 2 beta, uh, it's 2 beta minus 1 raised to 3 halves all over 3, lower lo limit 1 half, upper limit 1. Then substitute the value first of the upper limit. So this is 2, 2 times 1 minus 1 raised to 3 halves all over 3. Then minus 2 times 1 half minus 1 raised to 3 halves over 3 then we'll have now the definite value of 1 third so this is the answer for number 3 last example number 4 we have here the integral of dx over 4 plus x raised to 3 Evaluating it to the lower limit, negative 3, up to the upper limit, negative 2. So first, and let's uh, fix this one. So this is 4 plus x raised to negative 3, dx. So we have here a uh, power formula, again. So 4 plus x raised to negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2 over negative 2 evaluating it to the lower limit negative 3 upper limit negative 2 so always remember this is always a bigger number compared to the uh, lower number here so the higher is in the higher then the lower is in the lower lower part okay so this is now equal to negative 1 over 2 times 4 plus x squared negative 3 to negative 2 so substitute first the upper limit so this is negative 1 all over 2 times 4 so that is, that is uh, 2 times 4 plus negative 2. I did it correct. So 4 plus negative 2 squared minus negative 1 over 2 times 4 plus negative 3 squared. 
And the final value here is 3, 8. Okay? So that's how we solve the definite integral. Now, if we want to do the faster way and uh, it happens that you're allowed the calculator, then we can use calculator here. We can use this to check if our answer is correct. For example, this uh, number one. So you just find the icon for the integral from your calculator. So I'm using here the uh, ES991. Uh, Casio. Okay. So we have here the integral of uh, x raised to the power of 4. So alpha x raised to the power of 4. Then right arrow, right arrow 1, right arrow 2. Right. Click it 3 times and then you get to the lower limit first. Lower limit, put it 1. Then click the right arrow so that it will direct you to the upper limit which we, you will click to then press equals so you have it 31 over 5 so the answer here is correct number two so let's clear this and let's solve for number two that is parenthesis alpha x minus 2 alpha or uh, let's close this with parenthesis and then raise to the power of 2 arrow right arrow right then 1 then right arrow 3 press equals and then you got two thirds next we have number 3 so let's clear this Click the integral icon, then uh, radical sign, choose the radical sign here, 2 alpha x minus 1, right arrow, right arrow, then 1, 2. So you have there the function or you can just type, uh, type there 0. 0.5, then right arrow here, 1. And we have there equal to one third. So the answer here is correct. Lastly, number four. So let's clear this. Lastly, number four we have here. So let's click the fraction. We have uh, one, then four plus alpha x raised to three. That is equal to negative 3, negative 2. Then press equals 3, 8. So the answer here is correct. This will prove to be useful when we are dealing with uh, solving for the areas and volumes later on. So this is only if you're allowed calculator now if there's no calculator or you're not allowed to use calculator at least you know the basics of how to solve it manually without the aid of the calculator so that's it for this video